An object at rest will continue to stay at rest unless acted by an outside force. In this case, um, Corey kicked the ball that would have otherwise stayed at rest. As you can see here, Adam inserts force by the kicking of the ball. The ball is the mass and depending on how heavy the ball is and how much force is inserted by Adam determines the acceleration of the ball. For every action there's an opposite and equal reaction. As you can see, SC used the war as the opposite force to propel itself forward. How can we as sport biomechanics apply the laws of motion so that professional athletes can improve in soccer and football? The first idea would be to master the kick. Well, seeing that the foot is the force behind the movement of the ball, the athlete should master the kick. In football, this means to um, drop the ball at the right intervals and then use the middle of the foot to propel the ball upwards and forwards. Don't use toes for more force is exerted in the middle of the foot. The same goes as soccer but try using um, different kicking techniques. The second idea um, would be to efficiently sway one's arms backwards and forwards in running. Motion should come from the shoulders and um, the arms should act at least by 90 degrees when swaying backwards. This is because for every action there is an opposite and equal reaction. Hence moving the arms back and forth um, would also contribute to the movement of the whole body. The third idea would be to catch the ball properly. In soccer this means that the goalie shouldn't open the grasp of their hand for it could break their fingers. Instead, catch whilst the fingers are slightly curled in. Hence, inertia is at work to stop the ball. The same too could be uh, used when catching the football. In conclusion, based upon Newton's three laws, sport biomechanics can improve the way one plays safely and effectively, whether in soccer, football or just simply running. <laughs>